Our Miami apartment is so dreamy, especially at this time of day. But the sickest part is definitely the car elevator. What? Our G wagon literally flies up to our super skyscraper high floor and sits pretty in our living room. When we want to call it down, we open the poor shop and request a ride down. This huge claw crane thing comes out and latches onto the bottom of your car, kind of like a frog eating a bug. Whoa. This part always feels like a Disney ride to me, the way the lights are and stuff. And off we go. It goes so fast. Here we are, just dropping, going through the lobby. Here's a cute vid of me also going through the lobby. <laughs> Feel myself. And here's the lobby from normal person perspective. The car elevator goes through the center of it. And then we arrive in the basement, the car garage, and the lift drops you That's off in crazy. your garage pod. That's crazy. We have to wait like 30 seconds, but it's kind of meditative to me. And yeah, we are ready to slay the day. Let me just get past all these rainbow colored Lambos first. <laughs> I really want to know what she does for a living because <laughs> that is insane. I ain't even going to hate. I ain't going to hate. I ain't had my head array today. I mean, to live like that's got to mean something. I wonder how much all that stuff costs. And do I really want to live that type of life, man? Because at one point, yeah, you could drive your car up an elevator to your house. Wow. I ain't got nothing, man. <laughs> For real. Lo que pasa en la feria de San Marcos se queda en la feria de San Marcos final inesperado. Pensaré solo para decirte lo mucho que lo siento. Etiqueta a tu amigo el chavo. ¿Qué está pasando? Baby, da que te miento. Eso de que me vieron feliz no lo sé. So allegedly, these two are together, but she making out with this dude while he talking to the other guy. So, what? What? No. I don't even understand what I'm just looking. And then, oh, oh no! First off, there's no way that you could be that unaware of your surroundings where your arm can be around your chick and she's making out with a dude right here, and you talking to the dude right here. There's no way that this could be happening. But if it is happening, she's disgusting. Whoever the other dude is, is a scumbag. And, oh my God. And then she kissed you afterwards, man. That's, oh, that's just trash, man. Like, what do you say? What, do, what, what justification can you give to the female for that? Like, what can you actually say? What are you going to say? Oh, uh, well, you never know what she could be going through. Oh, like, what, what, what can you give me? I need answers. Yo, but let's get into it. I feel like that's I talked to a nigga in the bathroom. You what? Yeah, 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 yeah. I do it all the time. That's weird. But bro. Just, I just like to look at people like you. Hold your, you holding your shit, and I'm looking over. I don't want to look at your shit. But just, just to look oh. at a man next to me and be like, bro, how you doing? You okay? You, you like a man in that vulnerable space? I just, I just want to, I want to see what, I want to see what you about. Wait, what? I just want to see what you about. That's some next level down south if you, shit. If you, if you can have a conversation with me holding your dick, and I'm holding my dick, and we can look each other in the eyes and talk, that means that you are alpha male. That means you a lion. What? That means you a lion. No, it doesn't. Like lions. When's the last time you saw a four, four, five male lion sitting around in the same area? It doesn't happen because they have territories. The thing that makes this shit run is when you have an alpha male, you got a lion that can sit and talk to another lion and just be comfortable with it. This is some bullshit, man. No, this is real. No, it's, it's not. Bullshit. It's real. Right, What's up, nigga? You good? You holding my dick, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We That's both crazy. Down. That's yeah. crazy. I know, I know. And they think so, it's crazy. I so, knew you're a younger dude. I'm an old guy. That's what I need to see. So I'm going to tell you one thing. It's, I'm going to tell you this. A dick is comprised of two parts. Mm -hmm. A stick and berries. There's big sticks. There's little sticks. Mm -hmm. There's big berries. There's little berries. But they all fucking look the same. Okay. What? They all look the same. So I look at you and be like, oh, you got me by two inches. Okay. But you don't know how to work that dick. Wait, <laughs> like I know how to work that dick. What is going on? Like, what's wrong with this dude, man? But why we straight like, up? No, I don't even want to see what you got. Why not? Because that's fucking. What? Why? I just don't want to see. see it. I it ain't none of my you. business. But it's not none of your business, so don't worry about it. Yo, ever since Channing Crowder had called uh, Russell Wilson a lame, homie has been saying the weirdest things ever since. Flat out. Talking about going to new colonies and all of that. And Kevin Hart roasted him on that stuff. Then you got this dude right now saying the most 
weirdest stuff ever. I like to hold my junk and look. First off, this is a gold. Women, if you don't understand it, there's a rule that most men follow when you go to the bathroom. If there's two stalls or three, not stalls, urinals, you got one, two, three. If two are there, no one goes in the middle. Unspoken rule. That's just how it goes. And if everybody has to stand next to each other, you do not speak to one another. You either look straight or look up. But you do not look in any other person's direction. Why? Because why are you trying to look at my manhood? So for Channing Crowder to say this shows that he's a grade A weirdo. And he, he's got some tendencies about himself. And talking about that's alpha. That is not alpha. First off, bringing up lions. Let's really talk about this. Because I love me some big cats. But let's talk about this for real. When they become alphas. Or when they start running their own territories, you don't see them together. They don't hang out. When they adolescence about when they get kicked out of the uh, out of the pride that they were originally part of, they go hunting together, all of that stuff, until they hit a certain age, and then boom, they all spr- uh, branch off. So all of that you talking right there, shut up, Channing. You just like looking at male manhoods. You just like looking at manhoods, man. You like comparing them. You like doing all of that stuff. Cool, man. Let that be you. But don't push that on the rest of the group because you know for a fact that men don't typically rock like that. Here's the simplest dating advice you'll ever need in your life, but most of you won't listen because you guys like to argue and complain about stupid shit that is very easy to understand. (laughs) That person that has inconsistent communication with you just doesn't like you that much. That person that goes with you isn't a bad person. They just became uninterested or found someone else. Move on. Find someone else to text you. If your partner cheated on you, leave them. And if you don't leave them, which most of you won't because most of you lack standards and self-respect, shut up about it, stop hanging it over their head, and learn how to work through it together. Or else, move on. If a man does not want to pay all your bills and wants to go 50-50, that doesn't make him a bum, that doesn't make him a bad guy, that doesn't make him a little boy. He's still a man, just a man with different interests and goals in life. Go find you someone who will. There's 8 billion people in the world, I promise you you can find one. That woman that wants all her bills paid doesn't make her a gold digger, doesn't make her a slut. Just go find you one that could do 50-50 with you. It's very simple. She just doesn't want what you want, and that's okay. You cannot attract the type of person you want if you are also not the person that they want. Get off the couch if you want a gym rat. Open up a fucking book if you want someone to read books a lot. It's very simple. Men aren't shit. Your standards are. You attract what you are, so maybe it's time to do some self-reflection. Most men under 30 don't have their shit together, and that's okay. Stop letting social media fill up your head with these unrealistic standards. This one is going to ruffle some feathers. Men have it way harder in life than we do, especially when it comes to money. So stop being a 25-year-old woman wondering why this 25-year-old man can't bust his coochie open online for $10,000 a month. It just does not work that way for men. Believe people when they show you who they are the first time. You do not get to choose or change the way someone decides to love you. You simply sit down, shut up, observe, and decide whether you want to participate in the way that they love or not. At the end of the day, we are all humans who have imperfect designs, so stop trying to find that perfect person. They don't exist, and that thing you hate about them, you probably hate about yourself. Don't take advice from married people or single people. Take advice from happy people. But even that's hard to find sometimes because most people lie to themselves about what actually makes them happy. Mm. Stop coming into relationships with a lacking mindset. You have a hard time finding the end-all, be-all person because you yourself are not the end-all, be-all person. So do some self-work. Shut up. Oh, shout-outs to her. (laughs) <laughs> they said that her her channel that particular video right there would pretty much destroy all relationship guru channels and that's kind of true because straight to the point very pragmatic logical skips all the nonsense nuances all of that hey bada bing bada boom this is it this is it this is it get off the port get with it or get off plain and simple that's probably how she has her conversations for a lot of people. But let me know what y'all think down in the comment section about these videos. And be on the lookout for more of them. All right, everybody. Peace.